In the last 12 months, I've been busting my booty off to make the withered animatronic foursome. Now, it's finally time for FNAF 2 Mangle. Let's move down here, The victim for this video will be Funtime Foxy. I've got five of these for £25. I'm pretty sure it's a bootleg and it looks rough, it lights up, and I have a lot of work if I'm to turn this into Mangle. Which I did, but you ain't seen that bit yet, so let's begin. Say the magic word. Please. Alright, so the first bit we will be working on will be Ooh. Um The legs. In the last four videos I've got better, 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 better at making these customs. Not only making them look good and accurate, but actually making them stronger. And this is actually going to be the strongest custom I made, even knowing the complex look of Mangle. More on that later. So with the legs we've basically got three legs and one arm, but they're all the same joints. So I need beads, earbuds Ugh. and wire. After shooting that off, I found out that donut beads fit perfectly around the earbuds. And the earbuds I use have a hole going through the middle. I actually can fit a metal wire inside of this. And this is key to making this custom really strong. So by using popsicle sticks as spacers, I worked out how long this leg needs to be. So with that, I put the wire through, glued the donut beads. Now that's our newly upgraded tower of donuts. Now for the top section of the leg. This will have the same technique, just with different beads, and add in some wire. With the wire, I curved it around, did a few bends, and then I cut it there, which looked pretty good to me. So this is how I made them, but I do go back later, remaking this, and making that wire go all the way through both the pieces, because this has to be very strong. You might way but make way butts with me, guy? Soon. Soon. Now with that done, it's time for the spine. Now to start the spine, I'm going with this middle section first. Oh and by the way, I spent hours finding a hand, cutting it out and editing this video just for you lot. So please subscribe if you like my content. Thank you. When working out how to do the spine, I realised I had two different sized donut beads. I use this to the advantage to make this look sick. Using the full length of an earbud, I put the beads on in a certain order that looked exactly like the spine. So I took the beads off, poked a wire through, and I started gluing them back on. But when I got to the end, I needed to space them out because there's a wrist with a hand on top. And that was how I made my animatronic earbud. Continue any more with the spine, we're going to quickly do the hands. Previously, when making hands with Bonnie and Foxy, I had to make them square. This time, I have to make it cylindrical. To do this, I used a piece that was cylindrical and this piece was perfect because it actually has a hole in it and I'm actually able to squeeze my wire through again which actually make these fingers bendable which was awesome so by cutting those fingers off the old hands and then making some holes I could glue the fingers in and with that we can go back to the spine putting it on top and I guess putting it on the leg arm thing at the bottom very good <laughs> But now we've done that, we can move back on to the spine. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> nope, nope. So in general, with Mangle, he's a very complicated character, and I have to make him very strong. I went all out with the spine, using a technique I'm going to be calling roting. So it's like this tree. It's big, but thin. How is it standing? It's rooted into the ground. Ugh. Oh, he's up here, pal! So that means I'm going to be passing wire through the whole entire body, making sure nothing is just glued on. It has to have wire going through at the inside, like a skeleton. So with that in mind, I used a bead and some earbuds to make the inner skeleton of the hips. And of course, with full awareness with my body, I covered the camera so you can't see what I'm doing. Just added two more earbuds on top for strength, then added some earbud in the bead. Now with that, I used the power of rooting and put the spine in a hole so it all becomes one. Now, with the extra bit of wire at the bottom, I actually connected the towel onto that part. See? It's all rooted. And to make the waist stronger, I added UV resin. With that done, I added blue tack to make it look like a cube of metal. 
covered the blue tack in super glue and gave the legs a test fit. Oh, when I got to this part, I was getting really excited because this is actually when it started looking like something. I'm liking this. So now with another break from the ribs, we are going to the feet. Quick question, who thinks Mangle should be in a FNAF 2? I think he's underrated and I think he should definitely be in the second film. Let me know down in the comments. When making the foot, I used Popsicle 6 and I tried to make it look like it could actually fit inside the other foot that came from the figure. I cut three pieces, two big, one small. The small one had some corners cut off and all these were going to stack on top of each other. I did sand them to add a few more angles and then I got the stir sticks out and started cutting them at angles and adding them to the bottom to work as the feet. Okay. After seeing if it fits within the guidelines of the foot, I added some more stir sticks for more detail. That was looking good so I used more cylindrical beads to add even more detail. But with Funtime Foxy's feet, I cut the toes off, cut some beads at an angle and glued them. Very nice. Now, let's move on to the arms. Alrighty, so with the arms, I've been working on them the whole time because they take a long time to do. But the first thing I did was to cut these earbuds, and then I passed them through the wire with some beads, and then I had to make two of these with four joints and one of these with two joints. After I really took my time gluing this, making sure this was strong and it wasn't going to move, then added wire on. Some of it had to be bent round rod to make it circle. Yes, it took a very long time this part. Now with that we can go back to the spine and put these arms on. And of course, to make this strong I added holes in the side of the spine. Then I started getting the beads out to add the shoulder parts. Then I glued that to the spine, I also did the other arm but I lost the footage and I've now moved on to the ribs using these little beads, cutting them and gluing them and it looked like that but I lost the footage so sorry about that. With that I needed to add another hole into the shoulder to add the arm neck piece. Which I think is starting to look really cool now but it's going to even look even cooler now that I'm putting on the legs. Because I used the earbuds for the waist, there's holes for these legs to go in and it's all rooted, it's all strong. Thank you very much, me. And of course, after that, I put those toes on. on an it's been a long journey, but now it's finally time for the head. Whoops. Alright, so using Fun Times Foxy's head, I got a lot of work to do and of course I'm going to make that mouth move. So the first thing I did was cut off that mouth. Once I did that, I had this huge bit of plastic that I could pull out. That was strange, but helped a lot actually. I removed the bit of hair on top and removed the eyebrows. Sorry girls. I drilled out the eyes and used a Dremel to make that the right shape, which is always a scary moment because if you go too much, you've kind of ruined the piece, but there is ways of fixing that. But yeah, it's pretty scary. So to make the mouth move, I'm using Lego as usual. Why? Because I know Lego is pristine, every piece gets checked. So I know I've got good quality joints when I use it. Got a guilty conscience, but I know I've got good customs, so... Ah! I also filled the gap in the head with a lollipop stick and carved out a little area for that Lego piece to go. Using blue tack, I made some gums to hold the teeth. I even put some Lego in the back so the neck can move later. Ooh. Then started working on the bottom bit of the mouth, which was very oddly shaped and I had a lot of blue tack to add to change this up. I kept adding blue tack to look right and I also added those teeth in. And I know you're thinking blue tack won't work, but I cover it in super glue a couple of layers and it starts getting hard. I also use blue tack to make the cheeks bigger. And use some more for the endo mouth and for the extra detail bits on the face. Um, I want a pink cat mommy. And with that I moved on to the eyes. I had to put some eyelashes on. So I put some blue tack and then wire into the blue tack. I also glued this ball joint to the neck so the neck can move later. Oh, now thanks to Scott Coffin, I have to make another head. What the hell? With the little head, I got the lollipop sticks out again and cut them at certain shapes. There's a nose and I also cut it earbuds and used them for the eye sockets and another bit of the stick for the mouth. The Using the wire as kind of hair, I put them on top and then I also put blue tack on the mouth for the teeth. I didn't put the bottom jaw yet because it'll make it hard to paint, but talking about paint, let's put some music on and let's begin.
Oh, this took a long time, but we aren't finished yet. Sadly, Scott Coffin gave Mangle a bow tie. Mangle, where are you going? What? Ah! All right, so for the bow tie, I've got some beads and put them on wire. Then I bend some wire and then added those to some sticky label I put on the table. Because I put them on a sticky side of the label, when I put super glue in, it all stayed in because it was all sealed. Very nice. I added more wire, put super glue in that bit, and then I cut the shape out. I then spray painted it with a black matte primer. I then let my partner paint it while I was editing, and then I put it on. Yeah! Oh, hello. Hello there. And that was it. I want to thank you all for 44,000 subscribers, nearly halfway to that play button. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. And that is it. I want to thank you all for watching this video. I did this all for you. But don't I look good? I look skibbity riz. Skibbity riz. I'm going to chill out now and recover from the trauma. See you later.